Hi there! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video ever, so please go easy on me. I'm actually a lot more nervous than I thought I would be. Even though the camera isn't looking at my face, it's still a little nerve-wracking, but hopefully I get used to it. I really love drawing, even though I'm not that great at it, and I really enjoy watching art videos on YouTube, especially the really great channels like Drawing with Waffles and Bailey J and Casey Golden and Doodle Day. Even though their styles are all really different, I just really enjoy watching them create things and do challenges and unboxing videos. Uh, so hopefully I can try to siphon some of what I've learned from them and put into practice my own videos. That is my baby. <laughs> he's actually two. He's not a baby, but he's still my baby anyway. Anyway, um, I just want to say that I am not a professional artist. I never studied anything. Uh, I'm simply a high school graduate, 29-year-old, married, mother of two, stay-at-home mom. I like to draw and watch YouTube. So here we are. And with that said, let's draw something. So I just got a cheap mechanical pencil, $2 sketchbook from Walmart. Um, so let's just start with something kind of easy. It's still not even that easy for me, but I'm going to draw a pineapple. Um, so I decided to name my channel the Artsy Pineapple. And I'm just going to be real simple about why, just like I did in the description of my channel. I like art, and I like pineapples, and it's really just as simple as that. Um, oops. Was that that's a nervous line. <laughs> that's a nervous line. Okay, just fix it. Anyway, it's really a lot harder to come up with a catchy channel name than I thought it would be. And as weird as it may sound, I couldn't really think of anything uh, to name my channel that describes me as a person. So I just, you know, kind of use words that I think are cute and sound good together and that I like. Um, obviously it's obvious that, wow, obviously it's obvious. Obviously I like art because here I am trying to start an art channel on YouTube and pineapples are just, you can ask my husband, if we are ever out somewhere, If we're ever out somewhere and I see a pineapple, it just like, it just makes me so happy. The colors and, I mean, I would say the shape, but that doesn't really, that doesn't really make sense. I don't know, it's just something about the way they look. I'm just like. They're just so pretty. Um, <laughs> wow. I used to watch these videos and think, wow, that person says um a lot, but now I kind of understand why. Um, well, there it goes again. Anyway, so I'm just doing some simple, rough sketches for this pineapple. Um, again, I'm literally just here to try to make an entertaining video for someone to watch. I am not trying to teach anyone how to draw a pineapple. Maybe one day. I just thought, since it's my channel name, I could, you know, maybe do something that would make sense, but maybe that was a mistake. Okay, so there's some rough stems, very rough stems. Um, this is going to be a little bit more difficult than I thought, just because I've done such a large scale, but I wanted to make sure that could see what I was doing well. You're definitely going to have to bear with me on the editing of this video because it will literally be my first time editing. I'm using a Nikon camera to record this with and when I tell you that I have the most janky setup it is all the jank I'm telling you. I My lighting situation is three I guess they're like their home lamps like I just took the shades off of them and put daylight bulbs in them and I've got one on this side one on this side and one literally sticking out of a cabinet that holds all my son's DVDs and then it's also where my camera is sticking out from I have the tripod wedged up under some movie cases with 
one of my son's stuffed animals kind of holding it down so it doesn't all come crashing down. <laughs> Hopefully that stays nice and snug. But um, I really couldn't justify going out and spending a whole lot of money on like a fancy set up, especially for this just being my first video, that would be kind of ridiculous, I think, by anybody's standards. I like the realistic look, but I'm also really into the kind of simple and cartoony look, so um, I'm just going to try to go for like a mix. Not, I mean, not a mix. It's not going to look realistic. It's not going to look like a photograph, but I do want it to look like a pineapple. Does that make sense? I think that I'll actually end up doing this piece in watercolor just because that's what I am really enjoying doing at the moment. Um, and I'll also probably embellish it with these awesome gel pens that I found at the dollar store. They were literally five bucks for 24 pens and the best ones are sparkly and they're so pretty. Um, and the green and the gold just look so pretty together so I can't wait to try that. So I want to kind of rough out these edges. My hand's already cramping up a little bit and I'm so nervous. I'm still shaking and... <sighs> okay. Anyway, I just want to darken up these little corners because once I put in the, the darker lines, it's going to make them look like they pop out a little bit more. So hopefully it won't look as flat, which is why this is one of the first things that I wanted to draw on my channel was because it's something that I kind of had pre, pre I kind of had pre-planned out ahead of time. Um, and like I said, I just really like pineapples. I don't know, it's just something I really enjoy. The look of them and the taste of them, obviously they're delicious. Um, but yeah, anyway, I might go ahead and finish this up and then I'll catch you up to speed when we're there. Okay, so here we are with the majority of this finished and I think what I'm going to go ahead and do now is actually want to make some of these a little bit bigger just because I feel like the whole pineapple is really large for how small I made these stems now that I'm looking at it. So I might go ahead and just just kind of, I really hate erasing just because I feel like I can never get it super clean. So before I go and erase anything, I want to make sure that this looks how I want it to look. Yeah, buddy. Because I would hate to go erase and then erase all of it, like the whole stem part, just to go back and redo it and then still not like it and have to erase it again. So I'm just going to fill this first. This is looking a little bit more how I looking a little bit more how I pictured it where the stems look like they're more one looks a little chunky but I'm not hating on it we'll leave it this looks a little bit more proportionate right 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 okay so now these ones I really have no idea what I'm doing, you guys, so I hope I don't get too much hate on this pineapple. It's just like, I think it's cute, right? It's not bad, right? Right? Okay. So now I want to use a little bit of a thinner one, so I'm using an O3 Micron, just because I don't want the outline to be too overwhelming. I want it to be just enough that it kind of makes... Um, the pineapple itself, I mean, it's going, it's going to contrast, obviously, because I'm going to be using bright colors on white paper, but I feel like just having the whole thing outlined a bit just kind of helps it pop a little bit more, and I just, I like the way it looks, okay? Everybody knows what this is if you watch Drawing with Waffles. I think it's one of the coolest things ever, so we're going to 
roll this. Okay. Okay, here we go. I got a shaky hand. Alright, I'm sorry, I had to turn this. Just so I can... Oh my goodness, my hand is so shaky. Okay. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Another thing that I just realized <laughs> is that I plan on using watercolor, and this is not watercolor paper. This is barely sketching paper. It's just a super cheap $2 sketchbook from Walmart. Um, I do have watercolor paper, but I didn't get it for this. <laughs> it just shows how prepared I am. Okay. So, here's some of the stems. Now we're going to go ahead and I'll do these bottom stems. You know what I'm realizing is that I'm pretty sure I've already got at least 10 to 15 minutes of footage. Like, actual usable footage. And I was hoping to try to keep my video to, like, 15 minutes at the most just simply because... I make videos, I want to make sure that I'm making something that people are going to watch. And I still have a lot to do. I know I'm like super all over the place with the way I'm doing these things, but um, I don't know, that's just the way my brain works, I guess. Okay, so... I don't know what you guys think, but I feel like that definitely made it feel like it pops off the page a little bit more with that outline. I know a lot of these aren't exactly symmetrical or, um, you know, in perfect rows, but I feel like when it comes to things like fruit, you know, it's organic shapes, but also just organic itself, so... <laughs> I think what I'm going to do is I'll just end up darkening this area up to kind of make it look a little bit more shadowy. And then we'll see how that looks. Ugh, I already vacuumed today and I'm going to have to do it again. <laughs> I feel like besides the overall look of it, <laughs> the way that you can generally tell that I'm very much a noob, is my little points like this. This is always something I've had trouble with when it comes to lining. I feel like I never know exactly when I should start and stop my points. Or I always get these dark little, like you can tell that I stopped a line and then but also restarted it there to continue. Not saying that the rest of the picture is flawless, but those are definitely, I feel like, the things that stick out to me the most right now. And maybe like these little weird bits that look like hair. But you know what? Pineapples... They don't, they're not hairy, but they do kind of have like little, little pieces of stuff kind of sometimes sticking off of them. So anyway, now we're going to set up some watercolors. This is how my water looks when it first comes out of my bathroom faucet. It doesn't look that way when it comes out of the, uh, the kitchen faucet, but it's, it's clear. It clears up eventually. We have well water, but it's just so weird how it gets all white and cloudy. I wonder why it does that. Two glasses of water, like the pros suggest. Um, the watercolor I'm using is just, it's tube watercolor, but I bought a palette for it off of Amazon. I thought it would be easier to just have it already in something so that I don't have to go through and, you know pour out paint every time I want to use it. Um, but I have a little guide here, uh, my color swatch list that I did on watercolor paper, like you're supposed to, but that's not what I'm painting on today, so, um, actually this is the one, I like, I did two of them because I have two different types, and the only real difference that I noticed was that, um, this is Canson XL water, watercolor paper, and this is, um, I'm not sure of the brand, but it's from Hobby Lobby, and it was like 
3 or $4, but you can still see the texture of the paper on, through the watercolor on this. And on this one, you can't. It's so strange. Like, this just flat watercolor. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go yellow medium. I'm so nervous. Okay. Like I said, some of my favorite channels to watch are um, Drawing with Waffles and Bailey J. And even though they're mainly, it seems like they both mainly like to use markers. I don't know, like, the markers do seem fun to me. Oh no, I've already made a boo-boo. <laughs> Got some outside the lines. No. Well, that will just be our aesthetic, I guess. A little bit outside the lines. Um, anyway, even though they are mainly marker colorists, I have seen them obviously do watercolors before. And of course, they're both very great at it. I mean, you know, Casey Golden, to me, she's like the queen of watercolors. She's so good with it. But she's like, what is she not good with, you know, what she uses? And even Steph and Adam on Doodle Date, they're both... It's all of them. They're just so inspiring to me to watch these people create. Um, and I just watch their videos and I get so inspired to do something. But then when I actually sit down and get my sketchbook out, I'm just like, I make a couple of lines and I'm like, I don't like it. <laughs> I, I, I enjoy the process, but the process takes so long for me to actually get somewhere that I like. It was actually just last night that I was practicing my pineapples and I finally somehow came up with one that I really liked and you know using references on Google really helped um, this paper is already really buckling <laughs> but that's okay it's just this is my first video oh no <sighs> I don't even remember what I was saying now <laughs> so nervous okay um, let's go, let's go sap green. Let's do Casey Golden Proud. Do some sap green. I get so inspired to draw and to paint and to make things, but I guess it's just the fear of knowing that I'm a noob and knowing that it's not going to be great. It's going to take me a long time for me to actually make something that I could you know, walk up to somebody in real life and be like, hey, look at this, I made this. Even my husband, I'll sometimes do sketches of characters he likes, so like characters from Final Fantasy. You know, I'll just be looking at their face on the game box and just trying to make it look as close to them as I can. And by the time I've decided that I'm done trying because it's just getting so difficult and I can't get the nose right and it's not in the right spot and anyway I decide that it's finished and then I show it to him and he's like oh wow that's awesome he tries to make me feel better but I, I can see it too you know <laughs> anyway I like doing stuff like that but I just thought it just looks like so much fun to not only make art but then to also make a video of it and then possibly have you know people comment and critique and maybe if somebody else watches this video and sees that I am not somebody who went to art school or even practices a ton if they can see that who just likes to paint can just decide to start a YouTube channel doing this I don't know, maybe that's something that there's a lot of other people that want to do. And if I can spark any kind of inspiration, like I have been sparked, I guess, by all these other creators that I really like, that would just be awesome. Okay, so I'm slightly going out the lines with some of this green. But that's our aesthetic, remember? That's our aesthetic. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, rookie mistake. Rookie mistake, technical difficulties, no big deal. So, I'm not sure what the last thing I was talking about was because I've taken a break and cooked and eaten dinner for my family since then. But I did these little green dots. 
but it's okay that I missed it on film because I was going to do a second layer anyway. So we're just going to go ahead and get right back into it. I kind of really wished I would have remembered to use watercolor paper for this, but it's okay. But I am glad that I finally did this because I've been wanting to use my paints. I've been wanting to play with them a lot. And I've just been too nervous. Okay, now I'm going in and doing those dots that I did earlier. And it'll probably work a little bit better this time than it did the first time because the first time I forgot that I should have done it before I went and did the leaves, I should have done it when the yellow was still wet so that it can kind of bleed into the yellow a little bit. It'll look a little bit more realistic, I guess. Which, that's one of the problems with this really cheap sketchbook paper. Is that it doesn't really, it soaks up the water so fast. I should have known that. I, just, I was just excited to do this. I finally got my janky setup going. I don't know if I finished explaining exactly what my setup is like, but the way I've got my camera stuck sticking literally out of a cabinet with stuff loading down the back end of the tripod. And then I'll have to flip the whole video because right now the camera is recording upside down. Okay, so so far that's not bad. So I'm going to go ahead and re-wet this green. Again, this, this paper. <laughs> this will be the third time I'm going over this green, which really isn't bad. Like, if you think about just a $2 sketchbook, I mean, it's not like it's a piece that I'm going to be hanging up in a gallery or anything, but it's buckling a little bit, but it's not, like, ripping up or anything. And as far as the back, like, the page looks fine. But I have noticed that whenever I do, because I have another sketchbook that has a couple of watercolor pieces in it, I do notice that whenever I do that, it, especially since it's not a watercolor sketchbook, it makes the pages buckle a little bit. But I kind of like that. I kind of like the way it makes the, the sketchbook look a little bit more used. It just kind of just gives it a certain look that I like, you know? It gives it some texture. Okay, so I think what I want to do now is, <laughs> I don't know, I'm confusing myself. Okay, I'm going to get a little bit more green on here. And what I'm going to do is dab off some excess water. Too much, too much. I'm going to kind of feather out these little dots just a little bit. Okay, so I really am not happy with that. <laughs> I'm using the wrong water jug to you know, did I just wet my brush a little bit and maybe get some more of this yellow. Oh that. Hey now. That's a little better. It feels so weird talking to myself right now. I feel like my husband's gonna come barging in the door and be like, what are you doing? It feels silly. But I get it. I mean, all these YouTubers that I watch, you know, they they don't make these videos so they can sit and listen to themselves talk. They make them because they know there's other people watching them that they are going to try to help and that they really do end up helping. Okay, so... Maybe that one's a little bit too dark, too. I'm pretty sure markers are not as forgiving as watercolors, and right now I need... All the forgiveness I can get. Okay, it's not horrible. I don't absolutely hate it for my first large watercolor piece with the pressure of probably nobody watching this, but you know, maybe. You never know. So this is probably something that I should have done first, but I kind of almost want to do a background. Oh, I don't know. It's just... You know, not this time. I'm not going to do a background this time. I'm getting overly ambitious. I had a plan, which is another rule that I learned from the greats. Have a plan. And I don't guess stick to it is necessarily <laughs> part of the rule, but just have a plan. But I'm going to 
try my best to stick to it. Okay, these are the pins. Oh man, I'm even bad at this. <laughs> these are the pin, color point, detail coloring, 8 neon, 8 glitter, 8 metallic, $5, Dollar General. These are pretty. So, I only plan on using two colors, and that is this sparkly one. It's like a yellow, yellow gold. And this sparkly green. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's so bad. And these are the only two colors I plan on using is this sparkly green and sparkly gold. I don't know how well it's going to show up on camera, but... Okay. I'm going to go in with the green first, I guess. Calm down. Calm down. Get this out of the way. I'm starting to whisper to myself sometimes. I know I'm recording. Like That's the whole reason I'm in my son's room with the air conditioning turned off. It's so hot, but it's to record. Okay. So, even though I know it's our aesthetic to have gone outside the lines a little bit, this will help clean up a little bit of those edges. Is it too weird for me to be talking like I'm talking to an audience, like I have an audience <laughs> on my first video? I've just been so ingrained by all the art videos that I've watched where everyone has such a large audience that they know are already watching, so I'm just trying to be like them. But still myself. It'd be so amazing. I aspire to be like the great Bailey J or Rin from Drawing with Waffles. If my husband was really into art, I could aspire to be like Doodle Date. All of their videos are seriously amazing, but if you've never seen the uh, Doodle Dates video where Steph and Adam go through her Rimsey's world, where she basically created an entire universe out of paper, it is like... I skipped over watching it a few times because I didn't really know what it was going to be about and I like to just see a lot of drawing videos. Like sketchbook tours are okay, but I really like just watching like challenges and actually drawing. But I was like running out of <laughs> videos of theirs to watch, so I watched the Rimseys and there's three parts and it was so worth it. It was so amazing. Okay, and that is the first part of the leaves up there done. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is, but oh my goodness, it's so pretty. <laughs> A little underwhelming, I guess. I think I'm happy with it, though. pretty hard to pick up on camera but it's so pretty there's also not much of it I guess it's just the outlines honestly I don't know if there's gonna be anything I can make without using these of how much I love them let's see once again I know they probably never see this video but I would just like to again thank all the art channels that I referenced earlier Ren, Bailey J uh, Doodle Date and Casey Golden, and there's more. There's like Lucid Nima. I really like her videos. And there's um, Swan Creates is a new one that I've been getting into. Those some of the ones that just really stuck with me and have inspired me to do what I'm doing now. So it's just so pretty. I want this as a sticker so bad because I've got my watercolor case here, and I got these like puffy stickers that I got from uh, some friends of mine. 
but they're like they stick up and they're this little kind of squishy and they're just so cute and this is a pineapple and it would fit with the food theme because these are all oh i have a pineapple one but i would like this one because it's sparkly thank you so much to anyone who watched this video and if you enjoyed it consider subscribing because i do plan to make more videos and hopefully i'll progress in my skills some if you made it all the way to the end of the video, wow, good job, congratulations, I have no idea how long this is going to be, but it felt like it took forever, so if you made it this far, leave a comment saying stay sweet. Alright, thanks guys, bye!